In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the tension setting for the rope. What I've done here is I've created an actor. In this actor, I have this block attached to this rope. If I click on the block, you'll see that I have simulate physics, and for its mass, I have 100. Now, if I was to press play, you'll see that the block comes down, but it comes down very floaty, and even goes up. And I want to fix that. If I was to fire at this, you'll notice that even though it swings this way, it comes back very slow. So I'm going to change some settings in here to fix that. So I'm going to open up my actor. Go to my viewport. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my box right here, cube. And I'm going to change the mass. In this case, I'm going to change it to 500. Then I'm going to select my rope. Go up here, type in tension. And the tension force, I'm going to lower it a bit. The higher the tension force, the more resistance you're going to get. Now, of course, you can mess with these properties to get different results. But in this case, I want the block to fall down faster. So I'm going to change the tension of this to 75. Now, when I do this, you're still going to notice that the block will go forward, but it's going to return slowly. So you'll notice it falls, but it's still going a bit slow. If I fire at this, when it comes back, it's coming back slow. So setting that I want to change is when I select my cube right here, I want to select, I want to change my linear damping. And I want to set it to a negative number. In this case, I found that negative 3, for this case, works pretty well. Compile that and press play. You'll now notice that the block fell faster. If I was to fire on this, then I'll swing back and come a bit forward until it comes to a rest. Right there. Now one thing that should be noted is if you have a higher number of segments on your rope, the settings will have to be changed. The tension will have to be changed, and the linear damping will have to be changed on this block. You can also mess with the mass uh, to pick a better number. Sometimes I found that increasing the weight of the mass actually helps in the simulation. So those are just some of the settings that you can change to get the desired look you want when it comes to attaching an object that has a weight to it to a rope.